Right, so we're now back in Composer. Here's our sales page. Here's our image. This is what somebody's going to click on. We want them to be able to send, sorry, let me rephrase that. We want somebody to be sent to PayPal when they click on this image, don't we? We've now created that link in PayPal. That's what we've just done a second ago. Here is that link that we just created here. This is that URL. So let's just copy that. And again, this is, I'm going through Composer here. If you're unfamiliar with Composer, I appreciate that you may not know what I'm about to say, but this isn't a webinar about Composer. As I keep saying, I've got tons of other training about Composer. But all we're going to do is we're going to create this image as a link to PayPal. So we click on the image, so it's highlighted, and you might just be able to see it's got a little border around it, meaning it's selected. And we go to a link up at the top here, and we simply paste in the link we just created in PayPal. Boom. There it is. There's that link that we created in PayPal. Now, I, I am aware that this is quite small for, for a lot of you watching on your computer screens at home. I'm sorry about that. I don't think I can zoom in as we were discussing earlier. But just to recap, I've created a link in Composer on this image, and I'm saying I want this image to link to, and then I put in here that link that we just created in PayPal. Does, is that making sense so far? Are you sort of seeing what, what we're doing here? Is that sort of kind of... Again, first time you do this, it's like, gosh, you, you get these moments, don't you, of thinking, oh, I sort of get it. And then a few minutes later, thinking, oh, hang on, what do we do? I, I understand. It's like anything. It's like I often say if we were learning any skill, anything, you know, cooking, woodwork, sailing, windsurfing, we'd go through exactly the same as making money online. As Brian Tracy says, it's a skill. It's learnable. But we need to learn these little things first. Um, you don't need to check the email address box here because it's not an email address. So let's just click OK. Whew. Wow. Do you know what? We've done it. I've said this before as well. The very fact that you're here giving up your time on a Saturday or early Sunday. What day is it? I'm losing track of days. Or early Sunday if you're in Australia or the Far East. Just proves that you have the comprehension to create a web business. This is new to all of us. I know many are saying, oh, Chris, you know, it's all right for you. But I, I still count myself as new. I've been doing this two years, that's all. It has transformed my life. But what I did do was do what you're doing now, spend a bit of time and sweat equity and try and not get overwhelmed and stressed and frustrated, which is natural, when there are new things to learn, just like this. And once you do it a few times and write it down, you'll think, gosh, you know what? There's actually there's a process to this, and it kind of makes sense. There's a great saying, systems work. It's people that fail. The web works. The web's not a con or a scam. It works. It's us that fail. It's, it's, it's us that get quick, say, oh, it doesn't work. I can't do this. You know, we spent, what, less than two hours already, and look how far you've come in. Hopefully, you're understanding that this is something that is achievable. Even if you don't quite understand the individual components right yet, that's fine. What we are doing is just lighting that fire under you to hopefully realizing that this is something that's real and viable. And Robert Kiyosaki says, you know, we're standing in front of a trend here. This is not going to go away, the web. It's only going to get bigger over the next few years. So these skills will only put you in a great place. Um, right, let me just save this. Anytime you make any changes, let's save. Great. So, do you know what? We're kind of there. We kind of have done it. This was the final thing. Um, we've actually created our link to our PayPal payment. Right. Now, I'm just quickly trying to check that everything is, yeah, everything's fine here. Uh, okay. So, let's again back up my favorite word here. We've now created this link in our index page, on our sales page, and now we're going to upload this and get it online. Um, Edna's just saying we need to upload this, don't we? Edna, you're spot on correct. Well done. That's exactly what we need to do. We've made the changes, but we haven't uploaded it yet. So we've clicked Save. Let's go back to FileZilla. Uh, I might just connect again, because I think I've probably been disconnected. Uh, OK, yes, I have. So I'm just connecting again to FileZilla. Let me click my public underscore HTML. Uh, let me just check that I'm... I'm just going to refresh this. I'm seeing the latest version of my index page. 
Um, okay, now I'm going to upload my index page to the web. And it's uploaded. Now, let me just check that I have done everything. I think, I think we're totally there, guys. Um, yep, index page, download page, all the files, all the product. I'm just let me just just spend let me just spend uh, ten seconds thinking about this through in my head because I don't want to have missed something out that's obvious because I do tend to do that now and again. Um, yeah, no, it all makes it's all making sense to me. Okay, we're getting some great questions about why do you not publish using Composer. I'll answer that very quickly now. I know this isn't really a webinar about Composer. In Composer, and this is how I teach when I start Composer, you can actually click Publish up here. You're absolutely correct. You can. The only thing is, though, it's quite a basic publish facility. For example, it will not allow you to publish an ebook. If you had an ebook, it won't allow that to be uploaded. We could have uploaded using Publishing Composer. But it's never a bad idea to know FileZilla, which is what's known as a separate FTP client, because the more you get involved online, the more you will be using that. Uh, but yes, you could have done that. Like I said earlier, there's often many ways to achieve the same result. You can upload using Composer, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's, it's quicker, and you have more control if you use something separate. For example, I could upload just an individual image or just an individual page using FileZilla. In Composer, I'd have to upload everything anytime I want to make one change, literally all the files, all the folders. It's just a bit of a clunky way to do it. But yes, it would work. You are right. Okay, let's go to the web and let's go to the website itself, which was listbuildingwithchris.com. Um, and look at this now can I ask can you actually see the sales page okay um, it's exciting isn't it I still get excited you know about this I still still get excited because look how professional this looks look at the header I love how the colors just it just looks nice on the eye doesn't it now just before we test it can I just flag up one thing as well this is a sales page I always teach about building a list, don't I? So what we would do is, to start off your web business, we will build a list first, and then once you have a list, you would introduce them to a product. Eventually, you do need to have products to sell, whether it's your own, like we're looking at now, or whether it's an affiliate, whether it's somebody else's product. It really, it really doesn't matter so much. But the point is to funnel in, the way you grab people into your web business, is by building your list. So I would not recommend starting from scratch with a sales page. I never recommend that. I always say that. Of course, you do need something to sell a bit further down the line, but this is a sales page once you've started building your list. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. In fact, I think I'm correct in saying that when you download this, this page, it comes with a squeeze page as well. I might be wrong in that. I know, I know some of them do. Um, but anyhow, the point of this webinar is sales. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about list building or traffic. I've got tons, tons of other training about that. We're talking about actually making the sale once we've started building a list. So let's just scroll down and see what we've got here. Um, from the desk of Chris Farrell, Saturday the 3rd of July. Very nice. Um, and it's a really nice looking sales page. It's talking all about this product. Um, and there's a nice bonus here. Uh, a thousand unique articles if you purchase this that's kind of cool isn't it um, let's scroll down 60 day guarantee remember we chose that we could change it if we wanted it's our product remember it's up to us now, you don't have to answer it to anybody you're not an affiliate you keep 100 percent of the money here um, okay we changed the payment to 27 dollars didn't we there it, there it is i made it a bit bigger look there's my picture as well just so it looks a bit nicer now should we purchase it? What do you reckon? Should we go for it? Should we actually make a purchase? See how it goes. Let's hope it all works okay. Um, let's do it. Let's click on I'm actually going to make a purchase as well, so I'll pay for it and everything. So let's click on buy now. Now, let me ask you this. 
when I click on this buy now button now, and please could you type your answer into the question window, where should this send me? I'm going to click on this right now. Where should, what's the next thing I should, be see, uh, should see after I click on buy now? Uh, okay, everyone that's typing has got it correct. So well done. Everyone's saying PayPal. Absolutely. Just wanted to, again, I appreciate that for some this is an obvious thing to ask, but for many it's not, and it wasn't when I started. I just want to make sure we understand the process. I'm really big into processes. So once we understand the process, we can do anything. I often, if you're a member of my membership site, you might know about EUI. I like to teach using the acronym EUI. E stands for educating. We all, and I include myself, we all need to be educated first. U is then understanding what we're actually being educated in. So many people online, honestly, so many people, and I'm doing talks all over the world now, and I'm talking with, with a lot of people on stage, they don't even understand. They're trying to sell the dream. They don't actually understand this process. We can't run a business like that. We need to understand what we're doing. If it takes you six weeks or six months, that's fine. Everybody marches to their own beat. Don't kind of think, oh, somebody else got it quicker than I. Once we understand it, only then can we implement it. And that's what we're doing. I'm educating you in the process. I'm hoping that you're understanding a little bit of it. Even if you don't get it all by now, that's fine. You can watch this video at any time, or if you're a member of my membership site, you know I have all support there in the forum going through this. But once we understand it, then we can actually implement it, and we're implementing it right now. Um, let's click on buy now then. So push the button, everybody's saying. <laughs> let's push the button, and we should be going to PayPal. And here we are. So what have we got here? We've got our PayPal link, articles for newbies, uh, $27. That's what we set up. So let me log into my PayPal account now. Let me make sure I log into the right one because um, I went to, I have two PayPal accounts. I don't want to log into the one that I've set up because it would kind of, it wouldn't work because it would be saying you're trying to log into your own PayPal account. So, um, okay, so I'm going to log into my PayPal and I'm going to pay, actually myself, in effect, $27. Um, so let's click log in. And it always takes a few moments. Uh, do you know, I, always, I still always get excited at this. Okay, wonderful. So this is now telling me, review, review your payments. Uh, $27. Um, that's all okay. Yeah, we're we ready to pay. Yes, we are. Now, let me ask you this. When I hit pay now, what should happen next? If we've set all this up correctly, what's the very next thing that we should see? Again, everybody's saying correct things. Some, some are calling it the thank you page, and some are saying the download page. That's actually the same thing. I call it download, but yes, if you said thank you, I know what you mean. We're talking about the page where you can actually access the product. So let's see if that does happen. Um, if we configured PayPal correctly using that auto return facility, remember? So let's click on pay now. There we go. We made a payment. I think this stays for about five seconds or so. We should be automatically redirected to, ta-da, look at that. It works perfectly. We've been automatically redirected. What I like about this is we did not have to click on that link that says return to merchant like most people do. And that's when you get a lot of complaints, people saying, I purchased something and it didn't work. So let's get in the mindset of a customer now. Imagine I'm a, I'm a customer and I'm on my own list and I email me, <laughs> if that makes sense, about this article for Newbie's product and I send them the sales page in an, in an email I send out to my list and somebody buys it. They go through this whole process. They then see this and to, to actually get the other uh, product, and look, the images look great. Um, all we would do is click here to download articles for Newbie's. Um, now, there's two ways of doing this, actually. I've written here, right-click, save target as. In fact, I should have made that a little bit clearer, to be honest with you, in hindsight. Well, I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to save this to my computer. And in fact, let's do it. Let's actually see that we can actually access the product. So I'm going to click save as, and I'm just going to call it something different because I don't want to overwrite the file I've got on my computer. Let's call this uh, test purchase. Okay, so just to recap, I'm now downloading the files that I've just uploaded to List Building with Chris, and I'm downloading them to my computer, and I'm calling the file that I'm downloading Test Purchase. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time to download uh, because, it's as, as we saw earlier, it's a bit of a large file. 
uh, actually it's not taking two minutes, it's probably going to take about two minutes or so. Um, once we've done this, that is kind of it. That's kind of the whole process. And don't forget, you can access these files at any time by going to chrisfarrell.com slash download. And I've already purchased these for you, and I purchased the, the rights. It comes with rights for me to allow me to do this because I didn't create this product. I didn't create the video course about articles. I didn't create any of these headers or anything. I've just purchased the rights to give them to you. So that's, that's what this is all about. Again, as I mentioned earlier, there's many different ways you could create your own product and spend a bit of time creating this yourself. Nothing wrong with that. You could purchase the rights to a product, as we have done just now. You could find an affiliate product and promote that. And in that case, you'd only get a percentage. Often it's 50%. But what we're doing right now is you're getting 100% because this is your own product. Now, if you wanted to take it even further, and I don't want to overcomplicate things now, but you could create an affiliate program for this product. How would you do that? Well, firstly, you'd have to make sure that the rights allow you, and this will all come when you purchase something, you always get a license telling you what you can and cannot do. But if you can create an affiliate program, you could very easily upload this to ClickBank, let's say, and ClickBank allow you instantly, with a click of a few buttons, to create an affiliate program. You choose how much commission you want to pay, and then other people that go to ClickBank, just looking for products to promote, if it looks attractive, might think, okay, I'll send that to my list, etc., etc., etc. Right, test purchase is now downloaded. Fabulous. Okay, so it's downloaded to my computer. Let me let me close everything now. It was called test purchase, wasn't it? So here it is, look, on my computer. Test purchase. It's a zipped folder again, back to where we started a few hours ago. Uh, let's extract all the files. And I'm now kind of in the mindset of, of a customer. If I was a customer for myself, this is what exactly what a customer would go through. And I always recommend, by the way, to buy something uh, from yourself, just to go through the whole process, uh, just to see that everything works. It's amazing how many people don't do that. It's also good to see how kind of user-friendly it is. So here's the product that I bought. Let's have a little look at it. Let's click on it to run it, and let's see if it's any good. Let's see what it's like. So articles for newbies. Um, well, it looks nice already. And um, what have we got here? We got looks like six videos on the left-hand side, all explaining about article marketing. And if I click play on the video, will it play? Should play. Look at that. It's working perfectly. Let's see if you can hear this. We're going to be defining what article marketing is. So what is article marketing? Well, article there we go. I'll stop the video there. So we've done it. We've created a sales page. We've configured a PayPal link. We've configured our download page. We've uploaded everything to our server. And we've tested it. And it all works fine. And I've now made $27 through one sale that I've made. How long did that take us? Let me close all these windows. I did go through that very slowly, I know. And for some, at some points, I'm sure you're probably thinking, Chris, get on with it. We know this bit. So, but, but all that said, it's taken us less than two hours. When I started, this, something like this took me at least four months to really get my head around. And we've kind of conducted it down in, in two hours. What I would suggest now is even if you don't want to sell this product, which is absolutely fine. I haven't created this webinar to get you to sell this product. I mean, there's nothing in that for me anyway. That doesn't. There's no reason for me to even suggest that. What, the reason I have done this webinar is because I want you to get comfortable going through the process of creating the sales page, of configuring your payment link, of linking it to your download page. Then, once that's up and running, then that awful expression, which I can't stand, make money while you sleep, uh, that only becomes applicable when you have some real estate equity online like this web business, because then when you can generate traffic to the sales page, then you will make some sales if you've treated your list well in the first place.